today we are going to be doing a makeup tutorial for my first video because makeup has been really popular lately with James Charles and I don't know anyone else who does makeup because I don't really watch the videos that much but I know that it's popular and then people have been asking for palettes recently so all right I'm gonna get started with the video I'm going to be using for our first layer because you always need a first layer is this that I found at Dollar Tree a couple years ago um, by Sassy and Chick. Yep. Second thing um, we're going to be using Bare Minerals Foundation in the shade Medium Beige. Oh, it's upside down. Um, for our eye, we are be our eyes, we are going to be using Revlon Photo Ready Primer Shadow Plus Sparkle in the shade Renaissance. Looks like this. Never been used before. Our lips, we are going to be either using this or this MAC lipstick in the shade Frost. So here we go. For This is our first layer. We're using that. I'm going to put our hair back because Make sure it's very concealed. Um, when you're doing your first layer, you don't really want to have any imperfections, so we are going to be covering all extra eyebrow hair because we don't need that in our lives. We need to get everything covered so that we can have a just good first layer. Good and fresh. Very even. Make sure it's very even. <laughs> I'm very happy today, if you can't tell. My eyebrows look really good. Oh, one of the most important things to remember while you are doing this is to cover pretty much every spot you can. Except for your lips. Maybe your lips, yeah. Yeah, I'd go with your lips, too. We're going for an all-natural look today. Cover your eyelids. <laughs> um, right. Almost done here with our first layer. Cover Make sure you get, uh, oh, I just got my hair in it. Could have put that back. Make sure you get the hairline too because you can't have any hair showing, like we said earlier. Get in your nostrils. Okay. <laughs> okay. Looking good. Make sure make sure it's really smooth. Very smooth. Finished look for the first layer. Um, it won't really come off my hands that well because I think I added a little bit too much, but that's what usually happens with first time makeup tutorials, so I'm not too worried about it. We're going to take a blow dry and we're going to, you know, dry off a little bit because you have to set. I think it's kind of melting and dripping into my eyes now, but it's okay because we're going to put some powder on now, but it's not setting powder. It's the um, powder foundation, which we are going to use next. The foundation. Oh, spill a little bit. So you just like dab it into the little container. And then you want it so it's not streaky or anything like that. I think my dad's home. He'll be very That's impressed. Nice. I'm having some problems because it's smeared in my eyes right now and it really hurts. It's all my people. Say this, but we are going to be using blush with the same brush as we did with the foundation because we don't like wasting. Is you're gonna take it from your um brow, the end of your brow, and you're gonna take it and you're gonna go like this, like so, ASMR. 
after you have it all like that, you're going to take it, you're going to close your eyeball. Take it, just try to make a, oh, uh, make sure you get your crease right there. Then you make a nice outline of your eyelid. Just try to make sure it's very even. Here's the first eye. This first step of the first, you take the purple on the brush, put it above the blue because on the palette it said it was above the blue. So, and then try to blend it a little bit because that's what all the good people do. Make sure it blends at the corner like that. Now you're just gonna dot it a little bit. So, here's that look here. Make a big indent in it because we want as much white as we this can. much. You're gonna take it and you're gonna. Do the same thing you did with the purple, just a little bit above. So what I do is you're gonna have to blend it all. And you like just rub. Just rub. So it makes kind of a tie-dye effect. Go from the bottom up and then, then go to the bottom or then go from the top down, including some of your eyebrow hairs. So they get a little bit messy. But that'll come in a later step where we do our eyebrows. Eyeshadow look. Just a little bit of a tip for anyone who may feel like they're falling behind or not doing as well. Um, you can, after just, ooh, I just spilled that whole thing. We're going to take some of the thing we started out with, our first layer, and then we are going to fix our imperfections. As you can see, I messed up a little bit on the side on this one, but I'm going to try to blend it out the best. Yeah, I, can. I pretty much fixed it all up. Um. Now we're going to move on to mascara because that is very so important. what I do for my everyday look is I don't ever curl my eyelashes because that is metal and we don't believe in metal. So you're just going to take your thing, like stick it in there a couple times, and then you're going to apply generously. You can't really tell it's on there right now, but you will I be able to say don't forget your bottom lashes. If you mess up a little bit, it'll look for both eyes. For our last look, we are going to do a first layer in our Nivea A Kiss of Care and Color in the shade Sheer Crimson. And then we are going to, so like this, there's a little white circle. This would actually be our second layer because we cut. It didn't really go as planned, so we're taking our hands now. We have to apply generously, once again, like we did with our mascara. It's looking a little bit pink right now, but that just might be the way it looks. I don't really know. It's fine. Don't worry about it. Next step is when we do our lining of the lips. We're going to take it, start at the little crease thing of your mouth, and we're going to go... So it covers a little bit of the outside of your lips, which is not a big deal. Which it, it's be a looking little a little bit, bit like this. It matches my skin tone perfectly. The last step of our, my makeup tutorial is going to be eyeshadow. We do with our um, eyeshadow. Even though it doesn't have a brush on it, we're going to take it and we're going to go just brush it up, down, and then brush it up. Okay, that's okay. That's okay. That happens to the best of us. Okay, well, that's awkward because the thing fell off, but that's okay because we can use the other side. See how it's blending into our thing a little bit? That's okay. That's perfectly okay. This is what it's supposed Error. to be. Error. We are going to take it and we're just going to rub a little bit because that always works. That's okay if it leaves a little bit of a bluish tint around that spot. This is what the final look is. Love you. Thank you for liking. Thank you for disliking. Thank you for noticing me. It really means a lot. Whether you believe it or not, I have a still a little bit in my eye. So that's okay. Don't worry about me. I'm okay. Thank you guys so much. I couldn't be here without you today.